I think the moons in our solar system are actually more interesting than the other planets. Hey, curious kids, Kevin here. Today on A Place Called Space, we are talking about which planet has the most moons. That's right, Earth is not the only one with a cosmic neighbor. Other planets have many, many more cosmic neighbors, and some don't have any. So who reigns supreme? The answer has changed over the years with improved telescopes and sending spacecraft out to explore our solar system. The current moon champion is Saturn, with a whopping 82 known moons so far. Before NASA launched the Cassini spacecraft in 1997, we only knew of 18 moons around Saturn. Back then, Jupiter was the moon champion. But in October 2019, Saturn's moon discovery grew to 82, surpassing Jupiter's count of 79. So what about the rest of the planets? How many moons does each have? Well, let's start inward and move out. Mercury, zero, nada, nothing. No moons there. Next, Venus. Again, zip, empty, no moons there either. On us at Earth with one moon. Moving to the last rocky planet Mars, there are two, Phobos and Deimos and we believe that Phobos will eventually break up and form a ring around Mars. How neat is that? Now, on our way to the outer solar system, where do we go? Well, we pass through the asteroid belt, and we gotta take a stop here. Yup, asteroids can have moons too. In 1993, the Galileo spacecraft flew by the asteroid Ida on its way to Jupiter, and we discovered a little moon around it named Dactyl. I like that name. Okay, on to the gas giants. We already learned that Jupiter has 79 and Saturn has 82. The ice giant planets Uranus and Neptune have a good amount of moons too. Uranus comes in with 27 moons and Neptune holds 14 moons. But wait, we're not done yet. Mm-hmm, Pluto. The dwarf planets can also have moons. Pluto has five moons. And there are two other dwarf planets in the Kuiper Belt that also have some. Eris has one moon and Haumea has two moons. These are the counts as of July 2021, but they can change as we are constantly exploring our universe. Always be curious.